Hey, hey, Cancer, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your March 2022 bonus reading. We're going to dive into the areas of health, wealth, and abundance today, so please do see the disclaimer in the description box below. If you are interested in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. So as you can see, Cancer, I have already pulled cards because we do have specific areas, health, wealth, and abundance, so I did use a beautiful smorgasbord of cards uh, showing up here for you. So let's dive right into the area of health. Uh, so we're going to tune into which chakra you are focusing on in the month of March. And we do have the root chakra. It doesn't surprise me. Uh, this is the chakra out of the seven main ones that have been really showing up for each sign. Uh, so this chakra also known as the root chakra, sits at the base of the spine and it gives us that feeling of stability and groundedness. So when this root chakra is open, we feel confident with the challenges or changes that may be coming our way. How to be flexible on building our stability. It may have to do with our finances as well, but this is about uh, our being able to stand on our own two feet here. So when we are feeling blocked in this area, we may feel threatened. Uh, we feel Feel unstable, maybe feel possibly dizzy at times. And this is about our survival issues, such as financial independence, money, food. And I feel like you are really tuning into your uh, your own stability at this time and figuring out how to, they just keep showing me the word flexible. So I feel like you may be flexible at this time with your living environment. So some of you may be looking to move. Uh, you may be looking to relocate. And a lot of you are really focusing on body, mind, and soul when it comes to health. So sometimes when we think of health, we just think of external uh, things that go on or happen within our body. But health can be mental. It can be physical, emotional, spiritual. So this uh, base chakra is talking about you figuring out body, mind, and soul, cancer, how to not only stand on your own two feet, but how to build a solid foundation for yourself. I feel like a lot of you are looking looking back to maybe any inner child wounding because this chakra here is uh, it usually develops between the ages of uh, one and seven years old. It's where we feel safe, where we feel uh, secure. So base chakra is really being illuminated for you cancer in the month of March. So let's take a look and see what else is going on for you. Okay, we have the five of pentacles. So some of you at times are feeling uh, maybe financial or health uh, changes that you're trying to navigate through. You may feel the ups and downs. You may feel alone one minute and you may feel like you have support the next minute. So there are fluctuations here. But I do get the sense of, especially because this uh, has to do with your stability as well, the five of pentacles. This talks about you having a renewed sense of faith, financial recovery, and the end of a hard period of time. Uh, some of you may have, they're showing me some of you may have been, I don't want to say ill, uh, but you may have been dealing with some sort of a health issue for quite some time. And you're finally getting to the root of the problem in the month of March. Again, do seek professional medical uh, assistance in any area that you feel the need to. But I'm getting that you are definitely moving in a brand new direction regarding your health. Uh, you have two major arcana showing up next. You have the 10, which is the Wheel of Fortune. And you have the 20, which or the 16, excuse me, uh, which is the Tower. So both of these are really great because uh, we're going to start with the 10 card right now. The Wheel of Fortune says you're finally going with the flow. If you are resisting some sort of change that threatened your stability here, Cancer, you're going to see that you're feeling unstuck. Okay, because the, the Wheel of Fortune is talking about fate intervening, a happy, unexpected change in your luck and fortune after a time of maybe you felt a little bit of bad luck, a little bit of isolation or financial uh, difficulties here. So you're going to see something finally starting to move forward for you. And I love it because the tower says that you're rebuilding. You're rebuilding your sense of stability. For some of you, this does mean a move. For others of you, it can be career. So even though we are talking about health, 
Uh, what happens in our internal world reflects our outer world, which is very important to remember here, Cancer, because again, health isn't just one, uh, one way of thinking. It's not just physical. It's body, mind, and soul. Emotional, spiritual, mental, physical. It comes up in all different shapes and sizes. So with the tower showing up here, I feel like this is a good change because the Wheel of Fortune uh, followed and paired with the tower says that you have the the freedom to really flow. And uh, this sudden revelation, whatever this good luck and fortune is, it may break down everything that you've ever known here, Cancer, to set you free to move in a brand new direction. And it may have to do with your stability as well. Some of you may notice uh, lower back pain. Uh, you may notice uh, pain regarding the base area. Again, that spine issue here. Uh, it can certainly be the tailbone as well for some of you. Uh, so the things that can help open up this base chakra, flexibility, maybe some yoga, uh, eating root vegetables or even red vegetables such as um, beets. Beets are a really good one here. This can be working with uh, jasper or red crystals as well, uh, such as this one here. You can work with stones such as uh, onyx or obsidian grounding stones that will help ground you. For others of you, this is getting out in nature, grounding your energy into Mother Earth here. So there's a lot of different ways that you can help uh, open up this base chakra, which in turn will, <clears throat> excuse me, will help you build stability uh, up here. So I like this, even though this is showing up for, I feel like every sign has gotten the base chakra, but a lot of you are working on rebuilding your stability. Maybe because of the fluctuations that have been going on in the world the last couple of years. Maybe you've been through job changes, health changes, losses, ups and downs, and your sense of stability definitely got off kilter, but you're working on that now and you're going to see some beautiful new shifts in the month of March. Let's take a look and see what's going on in the category of wealth. We have Nugget showing up here. I personally love the Nugget card because it does talk about a small increase. It's a little gold nugget here. And yeah, it may not say you're winning the jackpot or you know, you're going to hit it rich or anything of that nature, but it does talk about valuable information, taking an honest assessment and an honest look at your wealth. It talks about a fresh start, steady work and building a career. So for some of you, you're getting a new job offer, I feel or you're getting a small increase. This could be a promotion or a raise. For others of you that are self-employed or trying to get a business off the ground, you're gonna see some increases uh, this month after a time of putting in a lot of hard work and energy. So I really like this because you're taking a good hard look at what is working for you in the category of wealth, Cancer, and what you need to leave behind. So let's take a look and see what is showing up. Oh, wow. We have the King of Pentacles, beautiful to have uh, in your wealth. We do have the Four of Ariel showing up, which is the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so the King of Pentacles talks about you really bossing up in a position. So even though, again, I'm not feeling you know a bonus of $50,000, but really, when does that happen anyway? I'm feeling a steady flux of money showing up here. You really standing in your power to build something. It talks about success, stability, accomplishment, and very powerful energy here, especially when it comes to manifesting more wealth. Now it says your plans are working out very well, Cancer, professional and financial success, but it does take you using your resources wisely. And that's what you've been doing, I feel, is really using those resources uh, wisely and paying attention to where you're putting your time, energy, and effort. Uh, because with, with the Four of Pentacles, it says, when you give, you also receive. Don't be resistant to any change. Extremes in how you save or spend money. So sometimes you may, uh, you may really indulge is what they're telling me, whether that is indulge by, you know, buying an extravagant fancy dinner, uh, or this is indulging by buying some things that maybe you don't need. So I feel like you're taking a look at your money at this time and seeing where you can cut uh, things out that really aren't serving you or th uh, and to use whatever you're cutting out. For example, let's say there is money going towards uh, Hulu and you don't watch Hulu, where can you cut that savings? Uh, maybe you are investing in buying a coffee each morning where maybe you should invest in a, a coffee pot 
uh, or a machine that you can save money instead of buying out each day. So they're talking about you taking a look at where you can save more money by investing and really thinking things through, thinking your resources through. Because the Four of Pentacles <clears throat> does talk about working on building your stability and managing your money in a positive way here. And it will lead to uh, Ten of Cups, a lot of happiness here. So I like this because even though you're going from the King of Ariel here, I feel like the Ten of Cups is saying that you're recognizing and some of you are indulging in your family at this time. Love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members. Happily ever after. So some of you uh, may be... Again, you're you're helping out family members at this time. Maybe family members are helping you out. But the Ten of Cups is the happy family card. Good fortune, harmony, communication. And you're wanting to indulge on those you love is what I'm hearing here. But you will have enough to do so. So make sure that in the month of March, Cancer, you indulge in the things that are emotionally uh, emotionally uh, <clears throat> comforting to you and the things that really stir your soul, stir your heart chakra here because I'm feeling a lot of love and a lot of people are wanting to give you love and you give them uh, love in return and you're wanting to take care of others at this time because I feel like you are a nurturer. You want other people to be happy and successful. So again, they're telling me here that you may be spending money, even sometimes money that you don't necessarily have here, Cancer, to help somebody else out in need. It's almost like that quote, uh, you would give your sh the shirt off your back to help somebody else, even if it were a stranger. Um, and I feel like this is kind of the energy that I'm getting here. <clears throat> Excuse me, but the nugget says there's a small increase. So what you put out into the universe, you're going to get back. So maybe that was you in the past where you need a, a little bit of a leg up. And now it's your turn to reap the good karma is what I'm hearing here. Let's take a look at abundance. We do have long journey with the boots here. So I like that this is showing up for you because it says that you've been putting in a lot of, again, hard work, energy, and effort. For some of you, this may be a long journey that you're taking in a brand new direction. Some of you, this could be a move. Maybe you're going someplace quite far. For others of you, this says that, yes, you have been on this long journey for quite some time. But the fact that it's coming in in your abundance category here says that your hard work will pay off. And that, wow, and that's what the Seven of Pentacles is all about. The fruits of your labor. Seven of Pentacles is about persistence, patience, and planning. It is slow but steady results. And you're finally seeing that with this nugget showing up here in the month of March. So whatever you felt uh, has been a long journey or a long time coming, you're going to see that your patience has, again, paid off. And you're going to see that uh, things are starting to come to fruition in the month of March for you. And uh, you have the judgment card showing up. So it's almost like a rebirth. Uh, I really love this card showing up for you in the category of abundance because this is your calling. This is your life purpose. A lot of you are really figuring out what that is in the month of March and you're stepping into a brand new energy here. And this energy is about you rising from the ashes here. It's about a change in the direction of your life path. It's about a reflection, looking at all that you have done up until this point here, all that hard work and energy. And now you are reaping the, the fruits of your labor, your hard work. And you're going to say from here on out, where do I want to go from here? I put in all this work, but now I'm seeing this shift and change. Do I want to stay where I'm currently at? Do I want to stay in this relationship? Do I want to stay in this job? Do I want to stay in this town? You're really asking yourself those big questions. And I feel like you're ready to spread your wings here, Cancer. And this is a second chance to do something differently this time around, but a brand new beginning, especially because you have the rebuild card showing up for you, this tower. And I'm getting that this is quite positive for you. But once you make this decision, something's going to happen quite quickly. Now, this could even be a job offer for some of you. Maybe you've been wanting uh, a job that you've been putting yourself out there, working really hard to get, and then boom, uh, you get news because this can be news that comes in cancer and changes everything quickly. And it moves you across town, across the state, across the country, across the world. For others of you, this is uh, speed, velocity, travel, relocation, but it is the card of movement. So you're going to feel a lot of abundance, a lot of generosity, because I feel like people are opening up uh, at this time. Not only are you opening up, but other people are coming in to help you along your way. They're showing me very interesting. They're showing me hands waving goodbye, but they just gave me the Titanic. 
And you know when the Titanic is uh, getting ready to leave the harbor and go out, <clears throat> excuse me, go out into the ocean and everybody's waving goodbye and it's there's a lot of excitement and there's a big venture. Uh, and I don't see you hitting an iceberg along the way, Cancer, but it talks about this brand new exciting journey, this brand new uh, excitement of going someplace that maybe you've never been before, doing something that you've never done before. And you're leaving the harbor and it's a brand new energy where you're taking a leap of faith spreading those wings this is really powerful energy here for you cancer <clears throat> let's see what's showing up from the wisdom of the oracle thinker we have the thinker so you're definitely you've been thinking and putting your time energy and effort into really contemplating what your next move is uh 44 when you add that up four and four is the eight card which is strength so this is taking a lot of your endurance a lot of your power uh your fearlessness your courage your inner strength to really uh move in this direction to rebuild but you're not alone cancer you're not alone you have help whether this is divine guidance spiritual help i feel a lot of you have been really tuning in to that higher self, inner child, mother, father, God, spirit guides, angels, and you've been calling in the helpers and they're coming in to really uh, be the catalyst to move you forward at this time. So don't overthink uh, this situation. Go with the flow and don't resist this change because it's going to be even more beautiful than you could have ever imagined. So let's take a look and see what the angels have for you. Oh, wonderful. So even though you have base chakra, which talks about transforming your stability, we have the ear and the sacral. This is really great because uh, there's a lot of different cards in this deck. And the fact that you got both of them, the sacral chakra talks about your emotions. So it says, notice messages that appear as sounds, music, and words from both external sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. So this is that ear chakra. So you're receiving divine guidance as we were just talking about here and uh, pay attention to what's going on around you uh, listening and I think that that's kind of what you're doing with this thinking card you're observing you're listening at this time and you're waiting for signs to move forward here and I feel like you've already gotten a few of them as well so continue listening and uh, continue receiving the messages from spirit Next, we have sacral, and this does, again, talk about emotions and relationships and sensitivities. It says you are highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods, and energies right now. Respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations, and relationships. So if something is coming in that is blocking you from this soul's growth here, Leave that behind here. Push that to the past here and know that you're not bringing whatever this energy is where you are going, okay? That's that six of swords, eight of cups energy where you're leaving the past in the past and you're moving forward and you're not taking anything with you. And that's kind of what I'm getting with this judgment. It reminds me of Wayne Dyer when he decided to move to Maui. He decided to get rid of all of his belongings and uh, just bring what he had, a, a small amount of things to Hawaii with him and go start a fresh new life with uh, very little. And I feel like this is kind of what you're doing. It, it doesn't mean you're getting rid of all your belongings, cancer, and starting a fresh life, but I feel mentally you're getting rid of the things that have held you back here, okay? Judgment card is really wonderful showing up. Now let's take a look and see what your guides want you to know. Okay, we have caregiver. So you may be that natural caregiver, that nurturer that we spoke of earlier, Cancer. It says, we are with you and spirit has its own way of recognizing the care that you provide to others, uh, especially at the end of their life, just as you received love at the beginning of yours. Caregivers often focus all their attention on their loved ones and neglect their own concerns and well-being. So uh, because we're talking about health and base chakra, this may be something due to uh, not only you having a big heart here, Cancer, and deep emotions, uh, but this may have to do with your own stability and the way that you you were brought up especially during those years of you know age one to seven when that that base chakra was developing and the caregiver role says that you may again put everybody before your own needs so make sure that you do not do that moving forward and I feel like you're not because again you're leaving whatever is in the past behind and moving forward uh, they're giving me a song here um, 
Reckoning by Whiskey Myers. Reckoning. And that's kind of that energy here of this uh, judgment card. So if you are familiar with that song, uh, feel free to look up the lyrics as well. But I feel like you're having like a reckoning moment uh, or a turning moment in the direction of your life. Next, we have the love card showing up here. And it says, love is the foundation of your existence. And you're just as worthy of receiving as you are giving. Love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. So continue moving forward with love, kindness, and compassion. But Cancer, be sure to show yourself that love, kindness, and compassion as well. And lastly, from your guides here, we have Believe. The power of belief is huge. And it says here, the force that works through your soul, determining what's possible or impossible. The difference between success over failure and above all, who you are is the power of your belief. Now, remember this, Cancer. The word impossible itself spells out I'm possible. So I want you to remember that you can do anything here, that you're given this second chance to start your life over here, whatever this means for you. This is huge. This is a day of reckoning here. And I feel like you are really taking advantage and moving forward and you have the help and you you hear it. Some of you are very clear audience here and you're making the decisions that are going to transform your future for the better. So really deep reading here, it doesn't surprise me. So just a recap of health, wealth and abundance. In the health category, you're rebuilding your stability and uh, good luck and fortune fate it is intervening at this time to to build that stability to help you with uh you know your finances help you with feeling uh, isolated or alone i feel like you know that you're supported at this time Regarding your wealth, we do have a small increase. We have the King of Pentacles coming up. Uh, commitment, stability. This is somebody who has worked their way to the top and you're gonna continue to climb this ladder, whatever that ladder looks like for you. And you're managing your money beautifully and you may be taking care of others at this time or maybe even getting uh, some sort of money from family uh, or you're getting extra money due to family, whatever that means for you. In the category of your abundance, your long journey is paying off here. There's a beautiful abundance here. You're getting a second chance at life. Your hard work is paying off and you're gonna receive some news that comes in and really shifts the energy of moving forward and uh, up out of a situation that may have been difficult for you. All right, Cancer, I hope this resonates. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly does help get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most. Feel free to share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I am sending all of you wonderful Cancerians a lot of health, wealth, and abundance. Till next time.